Pain is a real issue. There's 20% of the population at any one time suffering ongoing or chronic pain. So it's worth delving into so you get a better handle on what you're dealing with. So what is pain? Well, pain essentially is a signal from your body to your brain to tell you something is wrong. Think when you touch the stove or you eat something hot, you immediately stop doing it because of this pain. And that's a good way of protecting the body. It's like an early warning system so you don't cause further damage. But what happens when this pain is not a good thing? This pain persists and it stays and you're always in pain. Think of your low back pain, your neck pain, these ongoing chronic pains. That's the pain is there all the time. And this is what we're going to delve into in this video. We're going to discuss the difference between acute pain or sudden pain or chronic or persistent pain. Acute pain, I think we're all aware of. We've all had acute pain at some stage in our lives. Think of a pain where you, you lift something, you strain your back, you sleep or in your neck, your neck gets very, very sore. You might twist an ankle playing some sports. They're all acute injuries or acute pain. The pain tends to go away within three to six weeks if you did nothing with it. But what happens when the pain doesn't go away after the time period of the injury? So if you injure, it doesn't matter if it's a muscle, ligament, or a tendon, or a joint, there's a certain time period where that injury will recover. But if the pain persists longer than that time period, then you're in the realms of chronic or persistent pain. So what are the three reasons why you get this chronic persistent pain? The first reason is what's called nociceptive pain. It's when the pain signal is constantly firing from the damaged area to the brain and back down again. Think your low back pain patient, hip patient, knee patient, where the pain is constantly there. You think of osteoarthritis where the inflammation, damage to the joint, the pain signal is constantly firing back down again. That's nociceptive pain. It's what I would treat here in the clinic. The second reason you get ongoing or chronic persistent pain is if you damage the nerve. Neurogenic pain, that's the terminology you use, but the nerve itself is actually damaged, sending constant signals to the brain and back down again. Think of a diabetic patient where the diabetes has damaged the nerves, really challenging to treat. And the third reason you get chronic or persistent pain is what's called nociplastic pain. That's when there's actually no damage to the tissue, be the joint is fine, there's no damage to the muscle, but yet the patient still experiences pain. The rewiring of the central nervous of the brain is interpreting the pain signals wrong and producing the pain signal. A little bit different, but quite tricky to treat it. So if you're suffering chronic or persistent pain, you know, it can be a tough place sometimes, both physically and mentally. It affects how you sleep, it affects how you socialize, and it can be really wearing on you. But we try and get patients to understand that the best person to treat your pain is yourself. And it doesn't matter if it's a low back pain, a neck pain, hip or knee pain. Self-management with a little bit of guidance it will really, really have helped them. With low back pain, for example, the routine will always be increase your movement of the area, increase the stretching of the muscle ligaments around the area, and increase the strength of the muscle ligaments at the area. That's when you get your best results and the best chance to reduce this chronic pain cycle. So guys, that's it. And please ask us some questions because it's very hard to get across exactly all the information because different people have different types of pain. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.